everybody can hear me. I'm not going to use the mic. The acoustics are a little bit tough for me to understand. But welcome. My name is J.R. Anderson, and I am the father of the bride. And I've been waiting for this day for a year. My wife and I want to personally thank everyone for attending today's celebration. As I look at my daughter, the bride, I recall how she captured my heart on the day she was born. And I was driving in excess of the speed limit to get to the hospital. <laughs> and how I became more and more in awe of her as the years passed by, even to this day. I can't help but reflect on all the trips where we attended her various activities, such as dance recitals, gymnastics competitions, UIL, volleyball, softball, basketball games, and college events that molded her into the beautiful woman she is today. And I'm surprised she hasn't been on a ice rink playing hockey yet. Look at that. She's my little girl, my princess, my ray of sunlight, and no matter what her age, she'll always be those things to me. Christy has always been the type of person to find a good quality in everyone, and, where, and with Eric, there were no exceptions. A Michigan Wolverine. <laughs> what were you thinking, Christy? <laughs> That's all in jest. <laughs> Eric is a fine young man, one that has much more patience with Christy than Carol and I do, and we welcome him. <laughs> in fact, to demonstrate his sincerity, I have a recent story I want to share. Y'all sweating yet? <laughs> I've got two. Which one you want me to use? <laughs> This summer, our immediate family went on a vacation trip to the Frio River. Since the river was low and the flow slow due to the drought, due to the drought, it was not favorable for tubing. So I attempted to hang a rope from a tree for the grandkids to use to swing and drop into the river. I had a mishap falling to the ground from a tree. <laughs> My whole family was seated beside the rocky terrain where I landed, just watching, not getting up, <laughs> not even nodding, not offering to help me, and only one person rose from their easy chair to assist me lying crumpled on the ground and ensure I was not seriously hurt. And that was Harry. <laughs> rise and walk over to where I was because he forgot to bring flip-flops, water shoes, any kind of tennis shoes or anything when we went to float the river and ended up having to walk about three quarters of it. I know he suffered. He did send us a text with a photo of his good water shoes for next year. And Eric, as Socrates had said, by all means marry. If you get a good wife, you'll be happy. If you get a bad one, you'll become a philosopher. <laughs> so today, as I watch Christy marry a wonderful man, I'm filled with pride and I'm confident that she and Eric are about to embark on a wonderful journey filled with love and happiness that, only, that can only come as man and wife. May the two of you always treat each other with love, kindness, and compassion. If you will all stand and raise a glass to the happy couple, it is written, when children find true love, parents find joy, true joy. Here's to Christie's and Eric's love and to their parents' joy. Salute.